Starting with the best, the Autoverb 7. This has pictures of the spaces whose impulse response has been sampled. As you can see there's a huge choice between concert halls, cathedrals, recording studios, stadiums, and domestic spaces in homes. There are even interiors of planes and trains. Then there's the classic gear that's been stored. Then if you want to get experimental, inside pipes and buckets. Once you've chosen your space there are plenty of controls. All the normal stuff like wet and dry, you can add EQ and damping by clicking on them. As you alter these settings, the 3D picture changes to show the effect graphically. Some of the controls, such as pre-delay can be switched from time to synchronizing note speeds. So how does it sound? In a word, fantastic. And then I shall wake, go to the color, mistakes I will make, tumble out of my mind. It's time to show your sins, forget about all your tears, we've got nice to be. Next is the Baby Audio Crystalline. You select presets from the middle. This covers some settings so you need to close it to see them. Some of the things that look like buttons actually aren't. Size for instance is multi-choice. Sparkle is variable. The resolution can be lowered if you need to save processing power. The controls are split into different sections. Reflections, depth, cleanup and shape. There is an output section with ducker and wet dry controls. The wet dry control can be locked which is useful to keep it the same as you switch between presets. So let's hear how it sounds. And then I shall wake, go to the color, first things I will make, some blood in my mind, it's time to show your sins, forget about all your tears, we've got nights to be free, be free, be free, be free, when I lose myself in your life, yeah. 
The start and end controls can also be switched from time to sync with the speed musically. I like the crystalline. It's easy to use and can create a very modern sound. Next is the native instrument Rawn. This is probably the easiest layout of the whole lot here. All the usual controls are here and I like the look of this device. There are loads of very different presets. This plugin sounds quite distinctive and can be quite experimental. As you can hear. The Redline Reverb 2 is a classic looking and sounding reverb. Not short of controls and presets to get you started. If you look these are named after lexicon units. How do they sound? Show your sins. 
forget about all your tears We've got nights to be free Be free, be free, be free When I lose myself in your life I wanna dance till I see the sunrise This unit sounds excellent and it's worth noting that the CPU usage barely got to 5%. If it's the lexicon sound you want, how about this one? You can choose your starting machine. There are again plenty of presets. Let's have a listen. To show your sins, forget about all your tears. We've got nights to be free, be free, be free, be I wanna lose myself in the light. I wanna dance till I see the sunrise. And midnight's awake, go to the color, mistakes I will make, some blood on my mind, it's time to show your sins, forget about all your tears, we've got nights to be Finally, the neo verb. This has quite a different and modern look to it. Again, you won't be short of presets. Let's start with the section for vocals. The neo verb also contains something called reverb assistant. You play the track into it, and it does an analysis, and comes up with the settings itself. So there you are. My choice as the best reverb is the Altiverb 7. It's also the most expensive. Not prohibitively though and it will take care of all of your reverb needs, not just vocals. I also love the Native Instruments Rom and the Baby Audio is great for fitting a difficult vocal reverb into a busy track. These are the three I use a lot. If I could only pick one and had to budget I'd choose the native instruments warm as giving you the most bang for buck. <laughs>